All right, so I've just wasted a bit over an hour's worth of uh, time and filming because I picked up a battery. This one over here. Oh. Yeah, this one over here from the wrong pile. And uh, had the two connected together sitting on the bench and I was working on the leads for UPS and some nice long alligator leads. That's all to come in another video. I'll have to do it all again. Um, what I really, really, where I stuffed up, essentially. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This battery... I accidentally sat in the charged up and tested pile. What I had been doing was using my other original one, that one down there with all the balance leads on it. With alligator clips, whole, whole six alligator clips, um, off the good battery, balancing these batteries. This one was balanced and it was sitting at just over 20 volts when I connected this one. So this one, this one was registering 17 volts with them connected together and I got a little spark when I put the two together, naturally. Stupid me didn't think enough about that. Um, I thought it was voltage levelling out. I tested externals of both with them still connected and uh, put the current clamp around these just to see what was happening and it showed that it was only moving across about 250 milliamps. Of charge well that then spiked and I could actually hear a crackling sound which was these heating up and expanding in their in their cell frames I couldn't touch these two and these two by the time I actually worked out what was going on um, it was a case of do I try and call it down or do I lob it out the window just in case um, it's actually discharged this one down significantly so and it's actually heated up though, all of those cells but consistently because they're they are balanced there okay so let me uh, get the multimeter out and have a look these end couple of cells we will find will only have millivolts in them so it's registering like 0.25 of a freaking volt that one's measuring 150 millivolts. That cell's got 3.7. That cell's got 3.7. That cell's got 3.7, all within 0.2 of a volt. Lesson learned. If I had to walked away from that to go and check my baby or uh, pick her up out of bed or something like that, that could have been nasty. Luckily, it was a small scale with only that feeding these. I know that's still 3 amps, or, uh, well, 50 watt hours in this, pushing into this, but yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't do what I just did. Um, and uh, I'm going to re-record all of this with some uh, some different cells. I'm not going to use these ones for the uh, preliminary testing. I might... Uh, I've got some fives and I've got some fours and I've got some new fours over there in the box. Um, we might use some of them and then actually build this a dedicated battery and buy a proper, uh, you can buy 40 amp, uh, 36 volt BMSs. So we'll do a test with these, but um, yeah, for now, don't, uh, don't go connecting cells together until you've checked them. Physically go over each bank, check to make sure that none of them are stupidly low voltage thanks for watching guys i thought i'd update you rookie mistake um yeah not gonna not gonna lie and hide it that's that's what happened and uh it had the potential to be nasty um those two cells that it has heated up would more than definitely be cooked now um yeah thanks for watching i'll uh make another video doing basically what i did but properly um with the two amp hour well, 4 amp hour Milwaukee had in vote cells. Alright, thanks for watching guys.